I don't wanna go. I can't believe it's time to say goodbye to Taiwan. After two incredible months of adventure, laughter, and unforgettable experience, the time has come to say goodbye to this beautiful island and all the amazing friends we've made along the way. 5 p.m. Good afternoon. And we're right now waiting for our flight to Vietnam. There's so many exciting things that are gonna happen in Vietnam, so make sure you stay until the end of the video. All right, here we go, at last. And so begins the next chapter of our adventures. But before diving into new experiences, as with any journey, there are a few initial steps to take care of. All right, so quick things that we have to do before we leave the airport is one, find uh, internet, and two, ATM money. What's up? Immigration was so easy. Like, we went there, he didn't ask a single question. He just scanned the passport, saw already which kind of visa we have. He didn't even look at our paper. And then just stamped it and wrote the date we have to leave. So, yeah. Yeah. And now we're good to go. Internet was um, 13 euros for unlimited, but only 4 gigabytes of high speed per day and then low speed afterwards. Okay, so internet check. Money, check. They believe that this is the highest. We're not sure, right? But we have, a, we have a strong feeling that this is the highest bill. This is the biggest bill. This right here, 500,000, okay? Good. So, we come to Vietnam to experience the famous Full Moon Lantern Festival. But before we do that, we're gonna make our way to Hanoi first. Okay. Day, day two in this hostel. Wow, the breakfast is absolutely. all the colors. Absolutely amazing. Look at this breakfast, dude. Oh my god. Look at the view. This is the street of our hostel. Doesn't it look so pretty? Especially like this area right here is like all the color red. And there's like the Vietnamese flag. They literally have it almost everywhere. I'm getting in the way of people taking pictures. What's up? Flags, 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 flags. All the way in the back, more flags. So all these buildings, still French architecture. All those, that one too? Wow, so this whole whole area not just that cathedral no, no. right everything here everything is french just no french people though oh, wow okay this one is fancy look at this one yo bro this one this one is crazy fancy oh my god those couches Woo. i don't know what's going on around here but there's some Woman with beautiful dresses, I believe. I kind of like them. Look, very nice. Yeah, they're very, very, very nice. Each have like their own ish, same tone color. They're really pretty. Wow. Do you think that's a normal clothes? We're not sure. If, we're not sure if this is like the normal clothing, but it is so elegant and it is so pretty. We should get some. Well, you yeah. should get some. <laughs> Not me. I'll probably look too fabulous in it. But. <laughs> yeah, that's why only you should have it. Here we go with the crossing. Here we go. Here we go. We're not bad. We're pretty good, right? We made it, yeah. We're, we made it. <laughs> that seemed like an easy one, although that one car was like coming in really fast on me. Survivors. So, guys, check it out. Look at the size of the chairs of almost every restaurant here. It's like below my knee. This is so cool. This is it, this is the one. 
What? This is, this is so cool. <laughs> Yo, look at the size of this. <laughs> I still cannot process the fact how everything just seems so small. Here. Those are the fillings for the spring roll. Are they gonna give you like the... Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Thank you. Here's the spring roll. So you, make, you. so you make it yourself? Yes, you make it yourself. <laughs> so this is my dish. And um, I'm not sure if it's a spring roll, I just eat it like this and just put the sauce in here. But it seems like it's peanut, lettuce, rice noodles. I thought it was chicken, but I guess it's sausage. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm going to start with some noodles. Then I'm gonna put one of this sausage uh, for some crunchiness mm -hmm. and uh, mango for the sweetness. Oh, that's a mango. Yeah, chief mango. And then some more lettuce, more of this kind of greens. Then we got this over here. And You're not putting any meat? I did already. Oh, you did already. And then roll, roll, roll. And I'm ready to and then, and now dip, and now dip, dip, dip. And you just dip, dip, dip. Voila. It's a morada. It's corn. It's got the juice. It's got the juice. This is literally strawberry. Okay. That's very interesting. Are you digging the music? No? Okay. Bikes are literally driving on the sidewalk here. It's insane. Two hours later. And now that it's night time, after enjoying a good ass nap, we finally come out here just to enjoy the nightlife and see what it looks like. And it looks like to me that it's all bright all around us. So many people, so many tourists. There's a guy exercising because exercising is very, very, very important. Everybody should do it just like my man right here. Actually, it does look pretty. Look it up. Look at this. Absolute beauty. Hanoi offers plenty of activities for visitors from bar hopping and diverse dining options to cultural experience like the water puppet show and museums. If you're short on time for a food tour, go to Che 93 for a taste of incredible desserts. Trust me, I'm doing you a favor by telling you about this place. It's been funny. What's up? They have so many things I want to try. I want to try, I want to come here every single day. Like, it's literally so many good, delicious things. I cannot believe it. Like, I want to try this one. I want to try this one. I want to try this one. This one, this one for sure. This one for sure. Food ice cream looks amazing. This I want to try. This up here, they have this. And then I saw something else. I think we need sponsorship for this. Ice cream. Bro, we need sponsorship like, from this place. On? It's like every single thing is a mango yogurt. Look at this. And they even have like, I can't. <laughs> you can't. I can't. You can't. This is the famous pandan sticky rice with coconut ice cream. It's just mind blowing. And one of the most popular ones. Mm. You like it? Yeah. Nice. Ooh, wow. <laughs> I'm about to show you the reason of why we came to this hostel. There she is. She's the reason why. <laughs> and after reuniting with some old friends in Hanoi and picking up our Austrian visitor, look who's here. Hello. Now it is time for us to continue with our story. 
Well, we're back in Hanoi's airport. But this time, we're gonna be going to Da Nang. We're gonna be going to Da Nang, and then after that, we're gonna make our way to Hoi An. I guess so bad with the names because something special is happening there, and I think tonight is supposed to be like the biggest, 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 biggest thing. Festival of so. The year. I'm really excited about what it's gonna look like. I hope it's gonna be the best. And all three of us are going to enjoy it. Great view. Look at that. So pretty. This whole street is getting filled with so many people. Which brings me to explain to you. Well, it's a little bit windy. I don't know if you can hear me, but the reason why we're here is because today, exactly today, is the Lantern Festival that is happening here in Hoi An. And I think it's gonna be from 6 to 10 p.m. Hoi An City with its cobblestone streets, narrow canals, Chinese style shop houses, and French colonial buildings. The UNESCO World Heritage Site of Hoi An is one of the most beautiful towns in Vietnam. There is so much to do here, from savoring tasty treats, exploring cute shops, to just taking a leisurely stroll and soaking in the beautiful views. And right when the sun starts to set, the famous Lantern Festival begins. Now that it's getting much darker, everything starts to light up. And now this is where the real show begins. Everything here is just feels magical. It's like the atmosphere is just completely different than way before. Wow. Whoa, look at all these things. Now, why are lanterns the ultimate symbol of Hoi An? Well, they've been a part of this place story for centuries, thanks to Chinese and Japanese traders. Look how cool this thing looks. For an unforgettable adventure, mark your calendar for the Lantern Festival, happening every full moon. When night falls, the town dims its lights, letting those candles lit lanterns steal the spotlight. Find yourself a cozy spot by the riverbank where lanterns drift away, carrying wishes for good luck. Or hop on a boat and send your own lantern off into the night sky, making a wish of your own. Since we were told by every blog out there to come for full moon, we planned a whole trip around full moon and arrived exactly on the 23rd of February to witness this special event only to find out that the festival takes place pretty much every single day. Our friends were in Hoi An two weeks before full moon and stayed for 10 days and every single day the festival was happening. And then when we were there, also four days after the full moon, it was exactly the same, just less crowded. In our honest opinion, the nights without the full moon were more beautiful and much more enjoyable. So controversially, I would say plan to come here every day that is not a full moon. You will enjoy it much more. Perfect, I found a quiet spot. This just, today it's absolutely crazy. So many people, there's lights everywhere, lanterns everywhere. Like the, sh the, the whole thing is just so crazy. Like you have to literally be here to literally experience all of this. It, you, just seeing it through a video. It's completely different than actually being here, but best feeling ever. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, follow us for more, and this is how I say goodbye. See you in the next one.